Right now, some of our biggest challenges are the fact that we have nine different laws in Australia for freedom of information. Um, they all have slight differences in, in the laws. So right to Know has been running since 2012 and we cover federal authorities and we're just now starting to roll out uh, coverage to all the state-based authorities and local government, which we think is going to be really exciting. Uh, actually, one of the main challenges which we faced was just after we launched the website, it was due to the um, popularity, I would say, because it was a, a live launch on one of uh, TV channels, uh, it's actually internet TV channel, and just uh, after we made a presentation live, uh, the website actually went down because uh, we didn't expect that so many people would use it at the same moment. The big problem we have is that requesters are required to provide their uh, address and date of birth uh, as well as their name under under this law for, for rather obscure reasons connected with eventual payment of fees. Far more problematic is that invariably the authorities answer with a PDF and the, the address and sometimes even the date of birth is included on, on their reply and we have to go in and manually redact all that information. Awareness is probably the biggest challenge that we've got. Um, uh, there's been a study recently that showed that 56% of journalists in Rwanda did actually say they tried to use the access to information law. Now we, we're trying to work with them about that to say, ask how they're using it, trying to get them to put things down on paper, put things on, on our website, because in general, a lot of the feedback we've got says that people just do things on the phone.